Hello everyone, in Actor Jerry MC, Hairbar presents to you a project, The Ladder. In Actor Jerry MC aligns with the global vision of an artist to create a better and more sustainable world. Our aim is to employ the indigenous skills of the youth and build a community of social innovators and change makers to take the society forward. The coronavirus pandemic resulted in the commencement of our project, The Ladder which has been ventured into an entrepreneurship journey of helping local trinket vendors who were hard hit because of the pandemic. The irregularity of the revenue generation hampered the vision of small-scale businesses. Therefore, Project Dilara came to address the morality of small-scale vendors by lending them a helping hands in shifting their business to modern merchandising. This project is to empower local vendors in making a digital change to their retailing in a short period and flourish their business without any additional assistance. We are only a mediator here whose goal is to equip small-scale vendors with the proper tools and skills necessary to build a profitable online catalogue for their product. पड़ा बेटा हमारी तो हालत भी खराब हो रही कैसे घर का खर्चा चलेगा कैसे कमरा का किराया देंगे कैसे रहेंगे कैसे बच्चों को पढ़ाएंगे लिखाएंगे अंडर द लारा वी एम एट क्रिएटिंग एन एक्सेसिबल मार्केट प्लेस फॉर इंडी वेंडर्स एंड आर्टिजन्स The local artisans have been immensely hit by the pandemic and we aim in engaging them with a skill set as a means for them to expand the customer base and tap into various new growth opportunities. For the moon, looking at the SDGs, Project the Lara tackles four UN sustainable development goals, starting with first, no poverty. by providing a marketplace for sales and inculcating employable skills in less fortunate communities we work towards no poverty second decent work and economic growth proceeds collected from online platforms contribute towards economic growth in skills instilled in women help in increasing their employability third industry innovation and infrastructure We take on this SDG through sustainable industrialization by manufacturing our own innovative and eco-friendly products. Fourth, reducing inequalities by working with the underprivileged women and craftsmen community, we deal with reducing inequalities in a determined and efficient way. Moving on, after the successful launch of our project The Lara, we launched our first collection of the season, Tarash. All pieces stand true to the collection's name with their intricately carved designs and splashes of color. We assure our customers the best quality at affordable prices. Digital marketing was carried out through social media channels including Instagram and Facebook to promote the products which turned out to be a huge success. The online platform we created for sales led to 85% of stock being sold out, 70% of which being shared with the community of two vendors initially supported by this project. Furthermore, Team The Lara successfully hosted their first physical stall for the Diwali Mela 2021 at Shakti Shalini NGO. The stall's setup generated ample revenue and exposure to our project alongside uplifting our beneficiaries. I'm very happy to meet the the the, the De Lara project and to see the the beautiful pieces of jewelry that uh, have been showcased. I think it's a very interesting project. really appreciate the initiative that dilara has taken and uh, i think it's going to help a lot of people so that's really good and especially i mean uh, talking about the pandemic it's been hard on all of us so i really appreciate that i think the products are really nice they're really uh, beautiful so and i even bought one of them all the best thanks
In showcasing the initial phase of our project, Arash, the budget compromised was for rupees three thousand two hundred and seventy used for the purchasing of the jewelry from our beneficiaries, rupees nine hundred and twenty-five. For jute portlies and gift cards as a part of her packaging, rupees two hundred and ninety for delivery done by DTDC and an actor's volunteers, and rupees two hundred for marketing and advertisement done through brochures and collaborations. Our total budget for the rush stood at rupees four thousand six hundred and eighty-five. On the whole, after selling out our stock, we generated a revenue. Of rupees five thousand five hundred, hence Project Arash earned a profit of rupees eight hundred and fifteen, which was divided into seven to three ratio, seventy percent given to the beneficiaries and the remaining thirty percent was reinvested in the project. Moreover, after the success of the Wali Mela and in continuation with Arash. Our team was dedicated to launch a new series, that is, stage two of Project Alara, a new collection, Door, knotted with love. We, in collaboration with Shakti Shalini NGO, an NGO with aligned vision and core values that works towards making the socially and economically marginalized communities of women self-reliant. Conducted five amazing workshops where we taught our target beneficiaries the art of macrame. Macrame, which is a form of textile produced using knotting techniques, provided that on the very first day of the workshop, tremendous excitement was seen among all the volunteers and the women community. Our instructor taught the women community the process of making macrame coasters. Beautiful coasters were made, followed by earrings, mandalas, and wall hangings. The aim was to not only teach the community the process of making macrame products, but also to empower them so that they can become self-sufficient and pursue their own business in future. Furthermore, all the products curated under door. Knotted with love, were meticulously photographed, keeping in mind their aesthetics. Alluring shots were taken to capture the product's charm and make it appealing to the customers visiting our social media handles and websites. With this in mind, for the budget of our second phase, the budget used till now includes rupees four thousand seven hundred and fifty-five as the cost of raw materials. And rupees thousand as the mentorship fee of our mentor Sama to teach at the workshops, making the total budget utilized of rupees five thousand seven hundred and fifty-five. In addition to this, to take the project ahead, we require following budget further. Rupees two thousand for packaging, for which our prospects are jute portlies and small paper boxes. Rupees five hundred for delivery margin. Rupees thousand for marketing purposes, including brochures, setting up stalls, campaigns, and advertising. Rupees six thousand for future workshops for enhancing macrame skills in the community and manufacturing the second line of our products with more variety. And rupees thousand expenses for miscellaneous activities. The total fund that will be required are rupees. Ten thousand and five hundred. To sum up, till now we have created twelve pair of earrings, four pieces of both mandalas and wall hangings, and eight pieces of coasters, which, if sold according to this model, reaps us revenue of rupees ten thousand and eight hundred. This will earn us a profit of rupees one thousand five hundred and forty-five. In comparison to the budget used, excluding the future cost of workshops and miscellaneous expenses, 
also the total revenue collected from this project will be shared in 7 is to 3 ratio where the larger portion of the profits will be delivered to the beneficiaries and the remaining amount will be reinvested in the project. Ultimately, in order to teach the women community the art of maxime, we collaborated with Sama, the owner of Strings Attached, which is a maxime and raisin brand that sells luxury handmade accessories and home decor, founded in 2019 and is based in New Delhi. Sama has paid individual attention to each and every member of the community and has been very considerate towards everyone. Meanwhile, after the workshops, Sama, our instructor, talked about her experiences with us. She told us about how she started learning macrame in her college days and then went ahead to teaching the art. Sama has always been very patient while training the beneficiaries, ready at all times to lend a helping hand to anyone who needs it. This project couldn't have been a success without her. A project that began with only two beneficiaries has grown to include more than 20 selling products to more than 30 clients. Together, we work hard to popularize the handicraft industry. Together, we work hard to create a marketing space for local vendors. Together, we work hard to make women self-sufficient through macrame skills, all while fulfilling four SDG goals. Together, we are Enactus JDMC.